Today I'm at a vegetable store to buy 1 kg of tomatoes to prepare tomato soup. Look, the vegetable vendor is using the weighing balance to check if the weight of the tomatoes he has put on the left side of the pan is the same as the weight of the 1 kg block he has put on the right side of the pan. Since both the pans are at the same level, it means that both sides weigh the same. So the weight of these tomatoes is 1 kg. To maintain the balance, it is important that whatever changes are made on the left pan should be made on the right side as well. Like if we add two tomatoes on the left pan, then two similar sized tomatoes should be put on the right side as well. Now here's something interesting. The concept of solving linear equations by balancing in math works just like this. Just like a weighing balance, a linear equation also has two terms on two sides separated by an equal to sign. The equal to sign denotes that the value on both sides are equal and hence the balance. Let's apply these rules of balancing a weighing balance to solve the equation 6x plus 3 equal to 9. What do we mean by solving an equation? It means finding the value of the unknown for which the equality is true. So our objective is to isolate the unknown x on the left hand side which means we should try to get rid of the numbers 6 and 3 without disturbing the balance. Notice that 3 is added on the left hand side. We can eliminate plus 3 by subtracting 3 because 3 minus 3 is 0. But remember, the same needs to be done on the right hand side as well. So subtracting 3 from both sides gives us 6x equal to 6. Now, 6x means 6 multiplied with x. To get rid of 6, we should perform the opposite operation of multiplication, which is right, division. We'll divide the left-hand side with 6 and therefore also the right-hand side. This gives us x equal to 1. And now with x standing all alone on one side and its value on the other side, we have our solution. To be more sure about our answer, let's substitute the value of x on the left hand side of the equation and simplify. Yes, we get 9 on the left side, which is the same as the number on the right hand side. Therefore, x equal to 1 is the correct solution for our equation. Now I have my tomatoes and I'm off to make my tomato soup. See you next time.